Yo, what's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? Wherever you see in this video, if you see it on my website, um, I'm Joshua Winmore Forex Trades. Today is a Forex day. Today is Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. Man, we had had a wonderful day. Hope you guys had a wonderful day as well. Uh, right now, we're gonna get into uh, we're gonna go do the overview of Euro USD, Euro CAD, I believe, GBP, AUD. And then uh, we're gonna do a quick walk through the GPP CAD. So uh let's try let's see what we what we got here. Alright, this right here is the Euro USD. Um let's see, Euro USD. We did see that the uh see that the market was in the uptrend, market broke the uptrend. So uh we entered into the sell zone. We do have a down AB swing and Fibonacci, and there is our uh, Fibonacci D1618 extension, and direction is bearish, and we have an oversold stochastic. So we're looking to sell this market. Daily time frame, looking for high and low prices. On the daily time frame, we do have a crown formation with the market breaking up, uh, breaking up trend, and taking out an A. So we found that. And there's the crown D1. Uh, there's the crown 1618D extension, and we do have down trends. We are in the sell zone. Um, the market is going to the south, um, but we have some consolidation here. So as long as you see this consolidation and the market hasn't broken that consolidation, and the last one, two, last two, three days, market did exactly what. It, uh, it's supposed to do in the consolidation so um, so we've been looking to buy so that was a perfect low price to have bought the market in this consolidation range so go to the one hour time frame this is where we actually um, this is where we use our entry strategy and we did find the crown formation and this and last time we last time we talked uh last video um the market hits a d extension the market will reverse and look exactly what the market is doing right now right now we do have an uptrend that is starting after the market broken those down trend lines guys that is the beauty of crown formations and fibonacci's <laughs> they let you know exactly what the market is going to do right now <clears throat> so uh, well right now um, we can bring in a Fibonacci here just to see to gauge this since we are in the consolidation range um, uh, see that price point where that that 618 that 1618D extension what price point is that that is 3655 and it actually looks like that the market actually hit that just a few hours ago so hopefully you guys took this buy trade I missed it we missed it <clears throat> I missed it myself but um, hold on, let's go back to the daily time frame we missed that buy trade ourselves, and but right now you can see the market is going up. And you can bring in the counter trend line here, and you can see right there. Market held that support at the consolidation range. Market is starting to go up, back into the buy zone. So there's potential that this market is reversing, going up north. It could possibly go up another market could possibly go up another 155 so pips so that's the uh, euro usd and let's go look at the uh, the euro cad all right euro cad you see we had a, a long term uptrend uh, since september of 2012 um, we have two uptrend lines. Uh, we had this um, 
we had this inner uptrend line that was broken and we have two uh, downtrend lines we have a, a outer trend line a outer downtrend line and an inner downtrend line and market has broken up trend line so we've entered the sell zone so the direction is bearish doesn't mean that we're going to buy or sell at the moment because the daily daily time frame has to line up with a high price or a low price if we're going to sell we need a high price we sell high and we buy low so we have the Fibonacci a B swing and we found our C up here at the 86 and we're going to go down to the it's the one 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 eight yes so the one one eight that is how many pips away that is a hundred and forty five hundred and fifty pips away so we go to the daily time frame we look for a high or a low price currently the market is at a low price and we did have a uptrend the market broken this uptrend now the market excuse me now the market did the market did break the downtrend but the market is going back to retest the back side of the trend line and which could <coughs> which could be at that price point of this Fibonacci swing here which right now that's how many pips away that is 83 pips away so uh, it's up to you guys you guys discretion me personally I'm not trading because I want to sell high and I want to buy low I don't have a trend line break here and if the market hits this uh, Fibonacci 1618 D extension and then breaks this trend line then I will buy and I will start buying because if the backside of this backside of this downtrend line holds that support then and the more backside this downtrend line holds a support and this counter trend line breaks and the market closes bullish above that counter trend line I will start buying the market because we do have a a B uh, we do have a up a B Fibonacci swing that has not been that a has not been taken out so even though we are in the sell zone that let us know that we're trying to buy again as the market has broken this downtrend and we're getting ready to go test the backside. So you guys could try to capitalize on those pips there that's going down to the south, but I am kind of waiting for a buy position at the moment. So that is the um that is the Euro CAD. Let me go look at this um Look at the Great British Pound. I think I did an analysis on the Great British Pound. Uh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, so what happened in the Great British Pound? Okay, so in the Great British Pound and Australian dollar, we do have an uptrend. We had three different trend lines. We had a false break. We do have an up AB swing. So the market is is bullish at the moment. And we have a Fibonacci, Fibonacci 1618D extension. <clears throat> so we're looking to buy this market but now there are two ways to look at it you can look at it from a consolidation range or you can look at it as the first analysis that we see here but uh, overall the, um, the direction of this market is bullish so looking to buy the daily time frame will let us know if we have a high price or a low price that we need to go ahead and start buying the market okay and then it's very simple here you have a downtrend line that has been broken uh, we don't have a crown formation that this down a B Fibonacci swing is still in play this a hasn't been taken out but we do have a Fibonacci sub swing that could fulfill here that is still um, wait a minute that Fibonacci swing is still 782 pips away now we're at a high price we're at a high price right now so wouldn't be selling the market right now because we do have a high price uh, we, we wouldn't be buying the market right now because we have we, we do have a high price and um, the overall movement of the market is bullish so we want to keep that in mind and uh, let's see here we can bring in we bring in the counter trend line here. As you can see the market right now is still respecting that counter trend line. So actually 
if the market does break this kind of trend line, that would be a good uh, good signal to start buying. And I would buy the market at the close of the next candlestick. So today's Wednesday. That'll be that candlestick. So if it's Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be looking to buy this market Friday if we are above if we are above this kind of trend line with a, a bullish candlestick, I'll either buy it and I'll get ready to hold my trade. And this is the lowest point of the trend. Uh, the lowest point of where the market broke this kind of trend line. So we will be risking 10 pips of that low. That's 340. So that would be about 350 pips. 350 pip risk in order to go and get 750 pips so that is 350 pips to go get 752 pips that's a 2 to 1 uh, risk risk to reward ratio so that's a that's a good trade to me so I would like that trade but I first I would like to see that signal where the market actually closes above that counter trend line and what do we have on the one hour time frame one hour time frame we have counter trend line down counter trend lines broken we have um we have a bull crown formation and we have the market right now testing the backside of this down trend line and there's another signal that you can start buying this market so still give it some time let that counter trend line get broken on the uh let the counter trend line get broken on the daily time frame. And if you guys want to, we can well let's go ahead and do that now. Let's bring in up trend lines. Is that the right trend line? Is that what the market is saying that it is? Hmm. Now that's kind of interesting. That's pretty interesting because I would have thought the smart the smart trend line would have drawn itself. I would have thought the smart trend line would have drawn itself going that way. But hmm. Okay. Well it looks like well I wouldn't say we would change the analysis because we do have downtrend lines that have been broken. We have downtrend lines that have been broken, and that trend line is no good. The trend line has been taken out, and because according to that trend line, the market took out that trend line, and then it went up to test the backside. But we were in a downtrend, so that's the this is the first overall movement. This downtrend, these trend lines were taken out by the market. We have a bullish crown, and we're looking for the market to head that way, and. From this point on the one hour time frame, that is 263 pips. And if you were to place your stops 10 pips below the A, see, you would be risking way more than the reward is at the moment. So I would I would still put my stops 10 pips below this A, and but I would shoot to go for this one six one eight Fibonacci D extension on the daily time frame. Okay, so now that we got that out the way, let's open up the Great British Pound and the Canadian dollar. And as you guys know, the weekly time frame we use the weekly time frame as specifically for direction, and we want to pay close attention to the most previous swing. Because this is the weekly time frame. There are lots of pips that are involved. So it would take it would take a nice little chunk of time in order for the market to actually make a move in the direction that we believe the market is gonna go. So um those trend lines don't look necessarily pretty, necessarily too good. So, actually, let's clear that. I was thinking that that trend line was going to give me something better. Okay, so we bring a trend line here at this high. 
All right. We have the market breaking the down trend line, and let's see what the uptrend line says. No, sir, that is Fibonacci's. Excuse me. All right, let's see here. All right, smart trend lines. There we go. There we go. Smart trend lines. All right, and that's what I thought the market was going to do. So, all right, so with that being said, the market did break a down trend line. We did have the market going up in the uptrend line, but now we have a trend line that has been broken. Let's extend this. Um, the market has been broken, and the way we can look at this as well. It looks like we do have some sideways movement here in this little range so let's bring out the rays and let's get where the most touches are the most touches are at support and look you got got three touches at support right there and resistance where are the most touches and resistance about one two three four five six touches at resistance right there so <clears throat> the market has entered into a consolidation off of breaking a uptrend so we would say the overall movement of this market is bearish but since we're in the consolidation range uh, we're looking to buy the support and we're looking to sell resistance so you buy support here market goes up sell resistance market goes down by support market goes up sell resistance market comes down so right now we're at resistance right now and you can see this candlestick actually came up touched this price range and now the market is going down so we're going to look in the daily time frame for a sick a higher low price and we're still going to do all of the necessary uh analysis on the daily time frame to align with what we see on the weekly time frame and that consolidation range that is it's about 580 or so pips away from support so with that being said um we have to find a crown formation on the daily time frame and we need a signal letting us know that we're going to sell and at this point we do have a nice high price here that is a nice high price in order to start selling the market so we have our we have our uh, high price and we have to find the crown formation so if we can find the crown formation that'll help us it'll help and guide us to how far the market will fall south if it if the market even wants to fall down to uh to that consolidation support all right and you can see here we got in we got the fibonacci a that has been taken out so it looks like we have us a crown here ladies and gentlemen there's your a that was taken out and there is your left tip right there all right that's where that was taken out deepest retracement is there and let's find where that right tip would be okay so the right tip actually was hit so we have our king's crown that is a bear crown i like to make the bear crowns red that's going down and i like my bull crowns bear crowns red and bull crowns green so we got left tip there's our center tip and when the market was taken out and the deepest retracement so far which is this point that would be our right tip and there is our king's crown and we bring our Fibonacci cross like so alright before we go any farther let's just see where that price point is that's five five uh that price point is fifty five fifty nine and what is actually let's just do it like this bring in the horizontal line 
and let's put it right there and let's link it to the higher time frame we'll link that to the higher time frame and let's see what oh wow that's way far south than this consolidation range right here but uh, can we look left as long as we can look left and see where the market actually that that um, that Fibonacci 1618D extension off of that crown formation on the daily you see you guys can see it right now I know you see it you see all this support here support 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 how long did the price how long did price hold support here and the great British pound and the Canadian dollar May of 2010 all the way to March 2013 almost three years the market held around this price point at support so again the market does the same things over and over and over again and the market could come back down to test the market could come come back down to test this uh, price point as support so I like it I'm going to stick with it all for the daily crown uh, the, the crown formation off of the daily time frame 5572 but since that price range is outside of this consolidation range right now we're only looking to trade down to support in this consolidation so we do have our crown formation uh, the market did test the left tip as the right tip as resistance as you can see you have resistance at the left tip and resistance at the right tip and then now the market is starting to fall actually what is that black line that is where the A was taken out six seven five eight six seven five eight is that the price point uh, six seven no six seven five eight no actually that is it's just a little bit above above support that we found on the weekly but that's um okay look left you got support support and resistance there so that's a good price range to go by as well so <coughs> It's just a few pips away so and then guys as you can see how this is already aligning up with the um, with this crown formation this left tip and this right tip this you can see where this left tip right tip and this where the a was taken out where well, this is the similar the similar price action of consolidation from the weekly time frame and we do have a crown formation on the daily that's representing that but you can see the different price points from the crown formations and why the crown formations work best on the daily time frame so with that being said you can see the market hit that right tip of resistance and now the market is starting to fall as I said we do have a nice high price here we have a nice high price and uh, Hold on, reset. We can go to this price point on the daily time frame, on the one hour time frame, and then we can start to see if we have trend line breaks. And we can use power trend line trading to let us know that when we can start selling the market. And that price point is, I mean, that, that date is February 13th, 2019. Now, this is one, two, three, four. This is four, four and a half days. Of candlesticks so you got 24 24 24 so it should be a lot of information from this point up to this point and we can use our strategies on the one hour time frame to let us know or use our entry strategies to let us know when it's time to start buying and when it's time to start selling now we do have a stochastic look like it's going up but um, we will yeah, the stochastic look like it is, it is oversold and the stochastic is going up, but still, nonetheless, we do still have a, a good high price and we'll just, we'll see what it says on the one hour time frame and if the, the stories align themselves. So that is February 13th, 
February 13th. Okay, so that is that low point right there again. There's February 13th. And if we bring in And if we bring in smart trend lines, what does the story tell us when we bring in smart trend lines? And when we bring in smart trend lines right now, we're looking like the market is going to break. <clears throat> the market did break and closed bearish, but then now at this candlestick right now at live price in the market is coming back above so with that being said um you guys i will be getting ready to start selling because if the market i mean this 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 has been proven as a false break but the market is back now the market could hold this position and start to fall but you have we'll have to watch this one um we would have to watch this one pretty close. So the one hour time frame, um, let's see. They're bringing Fibonacci's here. All right, so you're bringing Fibonacci's. We have a up AB swing. We have a 618 C retracement. And the market could go up there, but uh, all the signs are on the daily and the weekly time frame are telling us it's time to sell and right now like you got like I said guys this is a nice high price here and if the market will break this trend line and the market will break this trend line the market will gravitate toward the next and you guys could be looking around a good nice um, you know about uh, 150 200 pips or so you know all depending on what story the the one hour time frame will tell us once the market gets into once the market gets into that zone or what it shows us what it wants to do if the market going is this a false break the market wants to go up then I wouldn't sell because the market's going to go against you let the market break actually let's draw it up so you guys can see it clearly alright let's do more and we're going to make that Try to make that a transparent blue. All right, and what you guys want to do is you wouldn't don't want to buy or sell right now, because um, just bring in the counter trend line across the top of those two weeks, and if the market closes bearish, a uh, closes bullish above a down counter trend, you can buy up to the six one eight one six one eight D extension off of the Fibonacci, which should align up with resistance on the consolidation on the weekly time frame. Or you want the market to break this trend line. Then you want the market to come back up. Because you have your, you have a high. We have a low. If we have a higher low. Market can come down right now. Uh, excuse me. I said high low. We got a low. Uh, we got a high. We got a low. We got a higher low. I mean the lower high, excuse me, we have a lower high and the market could right now come down and make that lower low and then the market will go up to make a lower high and then the market will just start to fall soft like that. Like that's the idea of what we want to see from the market in order to start selling and then that's when you bring in <clears throat> that's when you bring in those counter trend lines and what's the market makes <laughs> the market makes a high market makes a low the market makes a lower high market makes this lower low then once the market makes a lower high or goes up to to, to test the backside we will sell those counter trend line breaks sell the counter trend line breaks sell the counter trend line breaks just like that <laughs> oh sometimes i get my tongues mixed up i get tongue tied when it comes to the terminology and speaking for x but hey i love this game and been in this game for a while and this is 
your way to financial financial prosperity, man. And it's very simple, just like I show you guys when I come here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can see the, how the analysis is just easy as it is. You know, watch the videos over and over again. You know, follow. Uh, you know, you can add your, your own analysis to it. You know, if you follow fundamental analysis, that's fine. You know, you can add that in as well with all of this, man. You know, it, it, it works out. It works out perfectly, but knowing the overall uh knowing the overall direction on the weekly time frame um getting rid of all your doubt of whether you go buy or sell off the daily time frame see if you had a low price or a high price and as a forex trader you want to sell high and you want to buy low simple then the one hour time frame you just bring in your entry strategies your counter trend line breaks or you know if you guys use head and shoulders or uh, whatever analysis uh whatever technical analysis type of uh deal that you use you know you can add this on top of this and it'll give you more um it'll give you a higher percentage of a winning trade so but uh that's it for today that is we went through the euro usd went through the euro cad and then we went through the great british pound <clears throat> we went through the great british pound australian dollar and now we just went through the great british pound and the canadian dollar so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it brought some clarity to your trading style and hopefully you guys can uh find some value in this and uh guys please be sure to follow my fan, uh, follow the page on Facebook, winmoreforextrades.com. Please be sure to support the channel of uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description, or I'll put it up on my Facebook page, and I'll put a link in the description on that. And uh, you go to the website, www.winmoreforextrades.com forward slash services, and be sure to check out what I have to offer as far as it comes to the seven simple techniques to winning more forex trades. I uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.